Good morning or afternoon. We are looking at number 56 in book two entitled O Canada. And it is entitled O Canada because it is the Canadian national anthem. So quick backstory on this one. This one was commissioned and written in 1880. The original language for the lyrics was French and it was written and scored by Adolphe Bastille Routhier. Sounds very French. And then the English lyrics came out almost 30 years later. So that would be 1908. And that was those were translated by a different person. Uh, so even though all of that was put together and ready to go in 1908, it didn't actually get officially adopted as the Canadian National Anthem until 1980. So this is the Canadian National Anthem after 1980. So uh, looking through the piece, it is longer than the ones that we've played up to this point for the most part, and it does have a lot of information for you. So right at the beginning, it is in the key of concert B-flat, so two flats in the key signature, no sharps. Uh, it is in 4-4 four, four time, and the tempo slash style marking says maestoso. Maestoso is kind of nebulous. It means majestically, but it doesn't really specify any specific tempo. So I come to think of it as accented, but in the realm of andantino, which would be just a little bit faster than andante. So somewhere in between andante and moderato. So it should sound majestic. So looking through this one, I don't see any pitches in here that are outside of our normal playable notes. I do see some dotted 8th, 16th rhythms. 4, a 1, 4, a 1, 4, a 1, 2, so all of those are going to work like that. Remember, three sixteenth notes would be contained inside of one dotted eighth note. So going through the piece, I also see several big time dynamic changes. Like right here, you're crescendoing from mezzo forte to forte, day crescendoing from forte all the way to piano. So that is a big change in this whole section right here. These two measures should be played at a whisper to leave yourself plenty of room to noticeably crescendo up to mezzo piano. Yes, piano and mezzo piano are close together, but the difference should be noticeable. Anyone should be able to discern that you are getting louder there and then getting softer at the piano. And then you're going to go from piano crescendo up to mezzo forte and then la da da. That's pretty much the, the theme going throughout. Uh, now at the end there's a divisi, so you get to choose what to play. If you want to choose the actual notes of the melody, you would play the top ones. If you have somebody playing with you, somebody would play the bottom two notes. At the very end, RIT period, retardando, which means slows down, and that is because this one should have a slow dramatic finish. So I recommend for this one, maybe trying to play a line at a time, or maybe even two measures at a time before you start putting the whole piece together. So good luck with this one and have fun.